Welcome Ridge Life. I'm Tim and today on Ramblings, guys, the surgeons did it. I had no idea. Guys, I was at physical therapy today and uh, it's been the weirdest thing. Uh, since I have uh, came out of surgery, um, I came out of surgery, I was totally medicated, uh, you know, sedated. Uh, Grandma Carol actually talked to the surgeon. I never talked to the surgeon. Uh, I just got the PT orders and everything afterwards, you know. Um, what I was told was I had an ACL repair with allograft, with that cadaver tissue, you know, somebody else's tendon, you know, is, is it, ah, it was in my knee right here. Um, and then my meniscus, my lateral meniscus, uh, whenever I fell off that four wheeler and, and my and my and my bones twisted, it just ripped that uh, that ACL completely severed it, and then the lateral meniscus, uh, which is in between the bones, the the lateral one on this side ripped out, and I was told they did the allograft cadaver tissue repair, good to go, and then they did a lateral meniscus repair. Uh, with lateral meniscus repair. Uh, it would have been like six weeks, no weight bearing on the knee. But when I got home, I got the PT orders, uh, for, you know, surgery on Friday, PT on Monday. They said, it said weight bearing and I could do weight bearing. I was, well, that's amazing. And, uh, the PT is scratching their head too. Well, today, uh, oh, what, uh, a week and a half since the surgery, week and a half, it's only been a week and a half, crazy. Um, the, the, the surgeon's notes appeared at the physical therapist and the physical therapist said, uh, Mr. Roberts, you did not have lateral meniscus repair. You had a lateral meniscus ectomy. They removed it. The surgeon took it out. It's gone. It's gone. Now, uh, what we're suspecting is what we what, what we think happened was, um, and this kind of goes with what Grandma Carol was told by the surgeon. We think that it was damaged slightly because I remember seeing the, the the MRI pictures of the lateral meniscus pieces floating around in there. And the surgeon said, uh, "If we get in there and we can repair it, we will. If not, we'll remove it. We'll we'll move all the pieces. We'll uh, grind it, smooth it out. With, you know, scalpel, get it all nice and clean. Um, but you prefer to repair it because if they leave it, if they if they remove it over time, you get wear and bone to bone and uh, arthritis develop and pain over time so it's better to have it repaired you need your meniscus so um what we think happened was and i and i've got an appointment tomorrow with the surgeon be my, be my first follow-up appointment with the surgeon since the surgery uh friday before last uh so tomorrow we'll get all the answers but we believe what me and the physical therapist believe is that he got in there and the lateral meniscus had some pieces floating around. He removed those pieces, cleaned up the edge of it, and left what was in there in there. So it was a partial lateral meniscus ectomy. I don't believe it was complete, okay? Don't believe it was a complete lateral meniscus ectomy. Find out tomorrow, find out tomorrow. Um, but t I just got back home from um, physical therapy and uh, Ooh, guys, it is getting harder and harder. Those ladies are putting me through the ringer. Uh, today I had the TENS unit on and she had me standing with the TENS units on and uh, she had to strap around the back of my knee and she was pulling and I had to straighten my leg up, push back while the TENS unit seized up my quadricep. Pretty crazy, pretty crazy. And that's after doing the, the TENS unit quadricep tighten leg raises, you know? Um, so yeah, I was there for an hour and a half today. Uh, normally it's about an hour, a little over an hour, but I was there for an hour and a half today. Um, but great, great people up there at the Campbell clinic. Uh, I told Megan what y'all said about Megan's the one that she's actually in the video. I actually, you know, when I did the ramble, uh, ramblings from, uh, the PT took you there. That was Megan. She's super, super sweet. Leah was there too. Leah was there too. Um, and, uh, Leah. Sorry, Leah. Leah was there too uh, today, and I saw her, and they're just the nicest people, and and they, you know, they know all about you know Ridge Life. They've they've been we've been talking about all that stuff, just just having the greatest time. Um, I told you guys, I told you guys, I had some uh, big news, and uh, 
that's coming out tomorrow on ramblings okay it's it's good good news it's good news okay um i did finish the editing of the knee blowout video oh my gosh guys it is not pretty it is not pretty <laughs> the, the camera view we me and jen jen drive up on the four-wheeler right to the the trail camera we're about eight ten foot in front of it and uh, we drive up from it I, I turn it off and then i jump off and i just do do some goofy stuff in my leg buckles the camera is from the front of the four-wheeler so when i jump off you don't actually see the leg you see me though you see me in all my glory and my left leg go up in the air and all kinds of goofy look on my face and but you also see something else and we'll talk about that in the video you, we, you see something else and i got something to talk about with that okay i'll put that video out we'll talk about it in that video and of course we'll come we'll come back and talk about it more here on rambling we gotta talk about something we gotta talk about something <laughs> now i did get the video out today of uh, me and jen jen's last hunt ain't nobody watched it like 200 people watched it all afternoon on Ridge Life. And it is, um, you gotta turn your volume up a little bit and the sound of nature is amazing. You hear me and Jen whispering about what we see with the deer, so many deer, ooh. So I I found it very, very interesting. Um, if you like the sounds of nature and seeing beautiful wildlife, go check out on Ridge Life. Uh, uh, it's the last hunt, today's last video. I, th I think you'll enjoy it, I really do. Um, Let's see, uh, and then uh, and then let's see. Probably Friday, I'll have the uh, blow out my knee video on Ridge Life. This is all Ridge Life, guys. You gotta go to Ridge Life to see the actual video. Here on Ramblings, we just talk about it. Over there is where it happens and what I'm talking about. You gotta go to Ridge Life. Um, you'll see me actually blow my knee out. Now, what I decided, guys, I told you that you know that was in the trail camera video, but. Uh, with me doing the slow motion, you know, video um, and talking about it and everything, uh, I'm not doing all the trail cameras in that video. It just didn't make sense because the video would be an hour long. So what I did was I picked one trail camera that's right next to where I did the, you know, trail camera. And it is amazing. Uh, it is amazing. Uh, the deer, what the deer are doing in this trail camera video, I've got bucks clashing their antlers together, fighting. I've got big bucks. I've got little bucks. I, 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 and, and, and they're at a, scra a scrape where they, they do their nose at a branch hanging down and pee in it and everything and scrape at it. Oh my goodness, guys. You want to watch, you want to watch the deer in the knee blowout video, okay? Because you want you want to i promise you you won't want to miss those deer okay i promise you you want to miss those deer uh so that video will be out so then i'll actually have another trail camera video out later of the other 13 trail cameras uh on the ridge with all the deer and coyote and raccoon and, and armadillo armadillo are are real you know a lot of people think that armadillo uh, are born dead on the side of the road um uh, Sid, three Mississippi. You know, she actually seen one finally, real and alive. She said before, you know, armadillo are only born dead on the side of the road. <laughs> That's what she said. I promise you. Um, so uh, I'll have a trail camera video out of the other thirteen trail cameras with all the. And I'm not putting that trail camera in with all the the deer doing the. You know, that'd be separate. You know, that'd be just in the blow, knee blowout video. Okay, that'd be just in the knee blowout video. Um, caught on video caught on video blowing my knee out and amazing deer amazing deer yeah. um uh so that that's good that and then of course the the trail camera videos after that i got other videos in preparation and get, again i guess more good news you know it, it's 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 nothing to do with the 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 barn dominium build or anything like that this the the big news about the big signature solar and helping david out and all that um uh, that was huge that was a huge game changer for the ridge it really it really is uh that is huge and a lot of you understood you know uh, it's gonna help david out a lot too uh to save him you know tens of thousands of dollars and i talked to melanie and gary at simple life reclaim you know gary really wants to go solar you know they're they're, they're on grid right now but he really wants to go solar in the future and uh, so that would help them out as well. I'll, I'm gonna told him I'd get him hooked up. And of course, if Country Road Cure, or Bobblehead, or Drew, anybody else wants to get uh, connected with them, just uh, to contact me, guys. You know, you're 
part of the, the family. I love every one of you. I'll, I will hook you up. I will give you the connection. All right, guys. We'll do that. And anybody else wants to know about Signature Solar too, just let me know. I'll, I will give you the skinny. Um, Elvis, even you, brother. Even you. Okay. Uh, I cannot wait until my knee is better. Because as soon as my knee is a little bit better and I can get on the tractor, I'm going to take Elvis and the rabbits, put them up next to the, the garage behind the ridge crib, get them staked down because these storms, guys, we've had storms almost every night this week. Got them tonight, too. I don't know if you can tell the wind is coming up really bad right now, uh, blowing my beautiful locks, right? <laughs> I know, I know. Uh, storms. So, yeah. Uh, all the Mid-South. I know Morgan had some really huge storms down there in Mississippi too, uh, down there by uh, three Mississippi. Yeah, so they're they're right in the same area. Anytime I know Sid talks about storms, I always call Morgan and say, Morgan, uh, I was told there's some storms coming. You better watch yourself because Sid always keeps us up to date. You know, y'all be be watching uh, uh, Sipping and Spilling, okay, guys? Uh, three Mississippi. Obviously, you watch that. But watch Sipping and Spilling too. Um, they got the they got the exact opposite problem I've got. Uh, on uh, they, you know three Mississippi, you know they get you know tons and tons of views. But sipping and spilling right now, guys. Why aren't you watching Sid on sipping and spilling? Uh, Y'all need to go out and support uh, our, our sister Sid. And well, what happens is Mike needs to get on the videos more, don't he? We need to see Mike from three Mississippi in the sipping and spilling because right now we just got a lot of sipping and not much spilling. You get Sid and Mike together, you get the sipping and the spilling. Mike, calling you out, brother. Anyway, go support. Three Mississippi, obviously you do that, and also sipping and spilling. See on here, you guys watch the Ridge Life Ramblings and don't watch the Ridge Life. <laughs> it's crazy. It, well, it, it's not your fault, guys. It's not your fault. R uh, YouTube uh, decides which channels they want to promote, and they promote my Ramblings more than they do my Ridge Life. You know, and it's up to me, the content creator. It's up to me to put content out that YouTube wants to promote. Okay, and once they see the content that they want to promote based on the initial reactions of the thumbnail and the and the content subject, it will blow up. Okay, that's how it works. You, you, it's up to the creator. A lot of people think it's all up to chance. No, you got to have a great thumbnail, and you got to have that content, right? Content concept that draws people in, right? You know, it's surprising how many different things draw people to different. Uh, 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 viewerships. Um, now, what really happens is you get pigeonholed into doing something like reviews and how tos. Uh, my reviews and how tos have done amazing on Ridge Life. So then, when I do Ridge Life content, it's like, hey, you're not reviews and how tos. So that's why I moved reviews and how tos over there. It's just taking a while to get it separate. Reviews and how tos got 11,000 subscribers right now. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, but the 31,000 plus subscribers on Ridge Life, I've got to get my video uh, algorithm into the genre of videos I'm putting out. And really, once I start the barn dominium, I think that's going to happen. I'll have barn dominium, uh, building, barn building, building, septic, well, foundation. I'll have a lot of that repetitive content that will kick the algorithm into uh, promoting those videos. That way, you see them on your feed and go, oh, I want to watch Tim on Ridge Life do this, right? Because if you don't see it, you don't know to watch it. So it's not your fault. I don't blame you at all. I don't blame YouTube at all. It's up to me, guys. It's up to us, the video creators, to make something that YouTube wants to promote. I got no beef with YouTube, okay? Uh, a lot of people blame YouTube for it. I don't. I, they, 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 they got their stuff together. They know what they're doing. Um, so uh, lots going on today is what? Wednesday. So it's a lot of family lives tonight. You're probably going to be watching them uh, right after you watch this, hopefully you, you watch this first. I'll have it up to you in just a, just a moment. Get it uploaded. Um, hopefully, I can get it out before the most of the fam family start going live. Um, let's see here. Uh, what else is going on? Okay, so that's Thursday. That's Friday. That's the weekend. Uh, it, it's it's just busy, guys. Believe it or not, it's just busy. Um, I got so much more to tell you, but I'm only going to save it for the next rambling. <laughs> so guys, love every one of you. Until next time, hope everyone has a blessed, blessed day. Keep rambling and go Ridge Life. Surgeon took my meniscus. He took it. <laughs>